this. All right, let's just start seated today. Okay, so find a nice, easy, comfortable seated position. Relax your knees out, wriggle into the sit bones. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Neutralize your pelvis and send the spine straight up out of that. Bring your hands together at your heart center for just a moment. Touch the thumbs right into the sternum. You can close your eyes if you want to. Take your attention to your breathing. Try to bring your ujjayi breathing in as soon as you can so that you can elongate the inhales and exhales. And we will sit here in a little bit of a meditation for about three minutes, maybe more. Just try to drop into your meditation. Focus on the breath, using your ujjayi. Stay present to all that's going on right here, right within you. Relax your shoulders and your neck. Pull the belly in gently towards your spine. Keep your face relaxed. And we'll just spend a little bit, bit of time with you. your one breath from the bottom to the top so that we can separate your collarbones. Focus on that. Just deeper breathing. And then see if you can notice the breath and direct it into your side ribs as you inhale slowly. Direct it into the back ribs. Take your time, nice and slow and easy. Try to relax everything that's on the floor. Wherever you are, three more deep inhales and exhales.
the bottom of that exhale, allow your hands to come back to your lap. Raise your face, open your eyes if your eyes are closed, very gently coming into the room. Take the arms up, put some movement into the body, exhale, bring it forward. Mm -hmm. So we go in the, right into the hips and the back right away. See if we can warm up the spine, work your way down, maybe to your elbows, maybe reach out with your, onto your fingertips, whichever you prefer, and then breathe deeply into the belly twice. And at the bottom of your exhale, we'll pull the belly in first. Walk the hands back towards your torso. Let your head hang. And let the top of the head be the last thing that rolls up to the sky. Ah, change the cross of the legs. Do that again. Inhale and lift. Exhale, forward fold. Mm-hmm. Either come down to your elbows or reach out onto the hands or maybe to the fingertips and then drop your head. Inhale twice into that belly. Mm -hmm. Nice big deep inhales and exhales. Wake up all the breathing, moving all the fluids that have to move that's where it starts is in the breathing walk your hands back towards your torso as you pull the belly in stack one vertebra on top of the other until the top of the head reaches for the sky let's take this right leg out to the side and keep the left one in okay yep and then we'll take the right hand down that right leg we're going to take the left arm over the top and we'll take a side stretch. Oh yeah, oh my. See if you can look underneath that left arm. Just keep reaching out and stretching. Feel those rib, the rib cage, the ribs as they separate and breathe. One more deep inhale and exhale. On the next inhale, come on up. Good, let's bring this left hand down to the knee, just above the knee. I turn the fingers back on my knee and I'm gonna take this right hand behind my right leg. Inhale, lift as I push down and out on the thigh. Keep the shoulders down your back, turn your torso to face the straight leg. And that means bring your navel around as best you can. And then exhale and forward fold. Mm -hmm. Pressing down on that left thigh. Feel the stretch through that low left side and through the hip and breathe. And just reach the top of the head out, out, out. And breathe deeply. Keep trying to drop your left Rib your left shoulder down as you square to that right leg. And then on your next inhale, up you come. Just walk it up. Uh huh. And as you bring in the right leg, we're going to take the left one out this time. Take the right arm up over the top, left leg or left hand goes down the left leg, and we'll take a nice side stretch. Oh, reach it out and breathe deeply. Mm -hmm. Maybe open your heart to the sky as you inhale. Breathe right into that right lung. And again, one more deep inhale and exhale. Good, and then as we come up, we're gonna bring this right hand down to the just above the knee on the right, left hand comes behind you. Inhale, lift, lengthen through your spine and turn your torso towards that left leg. And then on the exhale, forward fold. Goes into the low back nicely and through that right hip. 
Try to keep your right shoulder headed towards the foot so you're square to the foot. And breathe. And then the top of the head reaches out, reaches out. I don't care if it goes down, I want it to reach out and lengthen the spine. And on your next inhale, pull the belly as you lift the torso up. Good. And then let's pick that one, that foot up, put both feet together. And let's have them out rather wide and then rock and roll side to side. Uh-huh. Good. And then we're going to do some cat cow stretches as we sit. Inhale. Look up and lengthen. Arch your back. Take your heart to the sky. Exhale. Round the back. Pull back. Mm -hmm. Drop your head and get a nice stretch through your shoulder blade. Inhale, lift. Heart center comes to the sky. Exhale, release and round out the back. Let your shoulders get a nice stretch here. Inhale, forward and up. Look up, stretch your neck. Ah. Exhale, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone and pull it back. Nice. From here, we're gonna pick up both knees and take both legs out to the side. Yes, indeed, because we like this stretch. Hands come behind. Sit up nice and high on those sit bones. And then maybe step into both hands, bending the elbows. Take the shoulders and elbows back. And scoop your heart to the sky. Open the heart and breathe. Put it into the nose and out the mouth. Try to get the shoulders away from your ears. One more deep inhale. On this next exhale, as you exhale, bring the head up. Just bring the head up, that's all. Get your bearings and then walk yourself forward. Bring the hands closer to the torso and then bring them around front. And see if we can't start to walk it down. And we'll find this lovely stretch straddle wherever it feels good see if you can find initially the edge to breathe through and as you are here you continually allow your torso to relax and maybe it goes down just a little bit further Maybe your elbows even come down to the mat and breathe. Keep your toes and your knees facing straight up. Legs are active. Every time you exhale, maybe you can release through those hip flexors a little bit more. The inner thighs get a real deep stretch. Maybe you're going to walk the hands a little further towards the front. Maybe not. It's okay. Wherever you happen to be is perfectly good. Find your edge and breathe into that. Use your breath. To help release and come deeper into the stretch if that's doable for you. Nice. Two more deep inhales and exhales. Now hold it wherever you landed. Hold it for two more deep inhales and exhales. Keep those legs active, keep even pinch, engage the thighs, work the muscles around the hips and the glutes. Keep the toes facing straight up, knees facing straight up, press through the heels. That's it. On your next inhale, pull the belly in. 
We're gonna walk up with a straight spine. So plug your neck right into your spine and the spine comes up nice and long until the top of the head reaches for the sky. Good, now pick up the knees and we'll take the legs straight out in front. Let's shake them out and then give it a little bit of pattern here. I want to make sure that everything is moving the way it's supposed to. In case there's any blockages anywhere, shake your knees even to make sure everything moves. And then from here, take the arms out and up. And now we're going to go to chair pose. So just bring it forward two to three inches. Yeah, try to bring the arms back by your ears as best you can. Toes face up. Again, inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Ooh. Yeah, try to bring the arms back by the ears one more time. Lengthening, inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Let your hands come down to wherever they go, over the feet, around the feet to your ankles or your shins, wherever it works. And then let your head drop. If you can put your hands over the tops of the feet and you have the balls of the feet to press into. So as you inhale, keep the toes straight up. And then as you exhale, push through the balls of the feet into the palms of the hands to pull your torso down and forward. And then breathe here twice. Mm -hmm. Good, and on your next inhale, just flex your feet and see the difference stretch that you get through those hamstrings. Just flex the feet, take a breath. As you're exhaling now, push the balls of the feet out. Stretch through the armpits, the side body, the low back. Feel those hamstrings, get a nice deep stretch. Inhale, bring the balls of the feet back. Round your head, neck, round your back, and then as you exhale, push into the palms of the hands and lengthen through the torso. And then be here for a couple of breaths. Mm -hmm. One more. Good, and then as you're ready, Start to bring the hands back towards you. Pick your head up so you can plug the neck right into the spine and then pull your belly as you walk yourself up nice and tall. Uh-huh, and come up to a nice stack pose here. Good, let's bring the feet in. Let's try this. Let's just for kicks. Uh, one, your, my left foot is in front. My right foot is coming to the back. Kind of a half frog on the right, okay? And see if you can plant your right hip down and square your hips so that your torso is straight up and down. As you step into your left hand, there's definitely a rise. You'll lean into that and there's a rise of that right hip, right? And then the arm comes over the top and we turn and we reach out. Just take a nice spiral twist. And then as you take the right arm up and open it, set down that right sit bone and open your heart to the sky. Mm -hmm. Inhale, bring in the right arm up. As you lean into the left, you can let your right sit bone come up. Press through it if it feels better to you, but get a really nice twist here. And then inhale, take the arm up and over, spiral it out, set down your right sit bone and open your heart. One more time. Inhale, reach it out. Get a good twist in your spine. See if you can bring the navel around to face your hand even. And then inhale, lift that arm up. 
and spiral it open as you set down that right sit bone. Good. And then let's bring this hand uh, across the bar, or just across air, through the air to the front. And then we're gonna press into the knee, both knees in fact, and we're gonna lift the hips all the way up. Mm -hmm. Just lift them up, pushing forward as though, kind of a half camel, but not really. It's the same sort of movement. And then as you come down, the hips come down, of course. And then one more time as you press into that left, pick up, press into the shins and the knees and pick those hips up. See if you can get a nice back bend out of this. And then exhale and bring that down. Good. And then moving the right forward and the left back. You can keep that left foot out just a little bit. See if you can find both sit bones first. Square your body up and see if you can be on both sit bones. Spine coming straight up, torso comes straight up out of that. Okay, and then settle into your right hand. Let's take this left arm over as you lean. Maybe your sit bone will come up, maybe it won't. Okay, and then as you open up the heart, make sure you settle that left sit bone down and open to the sky. And then here, maybe your sit bone's gonna come up because you're gonna reach and take a twist towards that right hand. Mm -hmm. And then inhale, setting the left sit bone back down. We're gonna open the heart, take it to the sky. One more time. Inhale, exhale it down. Take a twist through the spine here. Inhale, spiral it out. Take the arm all the way out, settle down on that left sit bone. Mm -hmm. And then as you come up, bring the arm through the air. Uh huh. Huh. And then my right hand has to come in just a little bit closer for me because I'm now gonna pick up my hips. I'm gonna press into the knees and the shins and lift. A little bit of a back bend. Mm -hmm. and bring that down. Yeah. One more time, inhale and lift. Press into the shins, lift it up. Good, exhale and bring that down. Very nice. Now, let's bring both legs, cross body. Settle your left one underneath the right. Let's see if we can pick up this right foot. And first of all, let's see if we can straighten through the knee on the right. Okay, see how that feels for you. And then just bring it in and see if you can touch your nose. Here. And then take this foot out and straighten it up once again. Mm -hmm. Just give it a go. And then you bring it down and towards your face so that you can try and touch your nose with your toe there. Good for you. And then let's let that right foot come down. Let's see, how do I do this? I want you now to just pick that right foot up, excuse me, and then settle it over the top of the left. And we'll see about double pigeon, log pose. Now, lengthen through the spine once again. Make sure your spine is going straight up and down. Breathe, flex both feet. Mm -hmm. Keep your shoulders relaxed. And we'll take the arms up. Uh huh. And then we're going to forward fold. So take it to wherever it goes for you. It might just go right here. And you've got plenty of stretch through that right hip. Right? So as you're here, you breathe. And then maybe you work your hands forward a little bit more as you work this stretch into that right hip. Breathing. 
Nice. And again, nice deep inhale. See where it will go for you. Breathe into the stretch. Drop your neck, let it relax. And as you're ready, pull the belly in first and then walk the hands back towards your torso and stack one vertebra on top of the other until the top of the head reaches for the sky. Ah, nice. Change the cross of the legs. So the right one comes under. You try to make it parallel to the mat there. And then let's take this left foot first whew, and straighten it up. Yeah, see how that feels. See if you can straighten it all the way up and use your right hand down on the mat to help you in either, any way you need it. And then bring this foot, I use both my hands to do this, to touch your nose with your toe. Mm -hmm. Just squeeze it in. And then take it out and lift. Lift your heart at the same time. Lift. Nice straight leg. Try not to sickle the foot. Press it out. And then grab the foot with your right hand as well as you pull that toe in towards your nose. Uh-huh. Good. And then we're going to take it out. Let's take it out one more time. This way we'll go from here. Now I want you to take the leg forward and take the leg out to the side and take the leg forward and take the leg out to the side. Mm -hmm. We didn't do that on the other side, but that's okay. Now we're gonna bend this knee, both hands are gonna come to that foot and we're gonna settle it on top of your right knee into fire log or double pigeon, okay? Both feet are flexed. It's foot to knee, knee to foot, okay? There's no crossing otherwise. You try to get both of these shins parallel. And then take the arms high. Uh-huh. And as you come forward, just go until you can feel the stretch in that left hip. Maybe bring the hands down. And then breathe into your stretch. Mm -hmm. And work your way down however far it wants to go. You can relax your head. Reach out to wherever it wants to be. Some people will not be stretched out at all. Some people are still just working on getting this knee to come down to the foot, and that's fine, okay? It's a matter of rocking forward a little bit and rocking back and just working the knee and the hip in that regard. Well, that's one way, one thing that a person can do. Otherwise, you come forward. Be heavy in those hips. And then when you're ready, pull the belly in. Walk the hands towards your torso as you stack one vertebra on top of the other until the top of the head reaches for the sky. Oh, and so nice and straight and tall. Lovely. Unhook those legs. Come to your hands and knees for just a moment. Mm -hmm. Take a couple of cat-cow stretches just because we can. So inhale, look up. And then exhale, tuck the chin and tuck the tailbone. Give your back body a nice stretch. Inhale, look up. Oh boy, this time flex the toes or curl them under and then pick your hips straight up over your hands. Stay high. Fly your tailbone up, push the mat away as you settle your heels back into your downward facing dog. Good morning, downward facing dog. And then bend your left knee, and press through that right heel, find the calf, and maybe your hamstring and that right leg, and vice versa. 
Move it to the left heel. Push your hips back. Find the calf stretch. Hamstrings. Inhale and push the right leg. Nice, mindful, walking your dog. Inhale, pushing the left one all the way. Woo, get your hips back over there. And then press both heels back. Pull your belly in. Look up where your hands are. Make sure they're quite comfortable and settled. And then my body came forward just a little bit while I was looking. So now I'm going to press into the arms and lengthen through those shoulders and fly my tailbone super high and come into my best dog that I can find. Heels are behind your toes. Neck is relaxed. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then you're going to look where you're going and you're going to step or walk or jump your feet up between the hands. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. And then we're going to heel and toe these feet, hips width, because we love Uttanasana, forward fold. Grab opposite elbows and just hang here for a moment. And let those hamstrings feel that stretch. Barbara, can you hear me? Yes. I lost you. I can hear you, but I can't see you. Really? Uh-huh. Can you, you can see me? Yes. Well, that's crazy. I don't know what to hit here to get you back. I don't hit anything. Just hang on. Let me see. Let me make sure I'm pinned here somehow. Can you, you can't see me at all? No, I've got my um, regular screen up. I don't know what, what happened. Oh, I forget that this is not a touch screen. Okay. Let me go. How about there? No, nothing. Nothing? Nothing, just, uh, you know, just audio. Yeah, that's not good. We want to see the... Okay, what if I turn the video off and turn it on? Still? Still. Mm -hmm. Should I go back and sign in again? Why don't you try going out and coming in? See what okay. happens, because okay. I'm not... I'm not having any luck with it. What is that? Hmm? What was that? I didn't hear what you're oh what you're hearing. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm back on here. Okay. Let me see. I need my glasses to see this. Good heavens. Oh, okay. There you are. You see me? I see you. How I about that? I don't have a full picture. Let me see if I can maximize. There, that's better. Okay. Can you, me? Can you see me? No, because I brought up okay. a screen and now it won't. Now that one won't go away. Why? What the heck is that? Oh, here, I know why. Uh -huh. No. I don't have the little odd. Um, I've got the audio mute here, but I don't. Oh, here's the video. If I hit video, will you see me? Yeah. Hit video. That, no, there you are. Yeah. I see yeah. you there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and Crazy. you can see me now? I see you now, yeah. Good. Let me get rid of that. There. All right. I can see you. You can see me. Excellent. All right. 
Okay, so where we were was in Ikinasana. So let's bend our knees. Just bend your knees down. Put your feet about hips width or more apart. Let the knees be right over the feet, okay? And then let your arms dangle, let your head dangle, and just roll your body up. Just roll your body all the way up to standing. Okay? And then bring the feet together for Tadasana. Hands them together. Inhale, take the arms high. Exhale, big swan back, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Arch your back up. Exhale, forward fold. Looking at the knees and then press the feet. Take the arms out and up. Look up through the thumbs. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Ah, again. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, big swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, and then press the feet and come all the way up. Look up to your thumbs. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Okay. Here we go into sun salutation. Do this one just for you in honor of our practice today, in honor of all those people that are suffering out there. Let's give them some sun salutation. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, big swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, step or lightly jump back to a push-up position, chaturanga. Inhale, through to up dog or cobra. Open it up, exhale, downward facing dog, push it all the way back. And then step or walk or jump your feet up between the hands. Inhale, come up halfway. That's the same inhale. Exhale, forward fold. And then inhale, stand all the way up. Look up to the thumbs. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Ooh, bring all those people in here and give them all your love. Inhale, arms come high. Exhale, big swan back, forward fold. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, step or lightly jump back to your push-up position. Hold your push-up position for just a moment. Let's pick up the right knee and pull it into your chest. Step back on that right foot. Pick up your left knee and pull it into your chest. Step back on the left foot. Pull up, pick up your right knee, pull it in. Step back, left, pull it in. Step back from here. Inhale the hips up, 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 and push them all the way back for your downward facing dog. Push it back. Nice. Now this time, take the right leg straight back and up. Open the heart, or open the hip. <laughs> and then drop that right leg across. Oh, get a stretch through the right side body. And then we're going to straighten out this right leg, square the hips, bring that right foot through for lunge. We're going to step into the left hand and take our right arm up for twist. Okay, now open the heart. Lift and open. Uh -huh. Keep your hips underneath of you. Maybe go a little deeper into that right knee if you'd like to. Take another deep inhale. Exhale, this right hand comes down. Let's allow the back knee to come down. Point the toe. And let's come into crescent moon. Just lift. Lift your torso up. Arms come high. See if you can get a stretch through that left hip flexor. So you're lunging forward. Exhale, the hands will come down, bring the right one inside this rep of right leg, right foot, heel and toe it out to the side, and let's find gecko, just because we can. Just come all the way down and rock and roll side to side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. And then as you make your way up to the uh, hands again, Use your hands to shift your weight 
back to your left knee. Heel and toe that right foot in, straighten it out, pull the toes back, inhale, look up and lengthen, forward fold over that right leg, uh-huh. And then we're gonna push this right heel forward and see about Hanumanasana. Maybe, let's see where we are today. See how that feels. Uh-huh. Breathe into this stretch. As you breathe, maybe see if you can relax your muscles just a little bit. Don't overdo it, just give it a go. And use your hands to hold you, okay? So you don't up. Don't go down when you don't mean to. Continue to breathe. Nice. And then on your next inhale, let's pull the heel back. Uh-huh. And all the way back so we're on our knee. Then sit back on your heels. Bring your hands back to the feet. Roll over the thighs. Drop your head. Relax. And then the hands come forward. We're going to rock up to the knees, curl the toes under, push back to downward facing dog. And then we're going to take the left leg straight back and up. Open the hip. And then allow the foot to fall over to the right. See if you can see that foot underneath your right arm. Ah, and then inhale, straighten through that leg. And then we're going to swing it through to lunge. Step into that right hand and take your left arm up for twist. Keep that right knee lifted nice and high. Breathe. Uh huh. One more deep inhale, open the heart a little more. Exhale, let's bring the knee down. Hand comes down, you can point that back toe. Lunge into that right knee, right hip flexor and bring your arms up for crescent moon. Pull the belly, uh-huh. Lift it high, turn on your hamstrings. Good, one more deep inhale. On the exhale, let's bring the hands down. Bring the left hand inside the left foot as you take it out and we'll come into gecko. So either on your hands or down maybe on your elbows to rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Get a nice deep stretch here. Then as you're ready, when you come back to the hands, press into those hands to come to your back knee. Walk your left foot in towards the body, towards the center of your body. Pull the toes back. Come into a runner's lunge. Deep inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold over that left leg. If you're happy here, stay here and work on that stretch. Otherwise, if you would rather go a little bit deeper, push that left heel forward. Let's see if you can find Hanumanasana here. Woo. Get that stretch wherever it is for you. Use your hands, please, to help you leverage. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Try to keep your shoulders down as you work the pose, breathe the pose. Nice deep hamstring stretch. Mm -hmm. Good, and then when you're ready, press into the hands to pick up the front heel, pull it back, knees come together, to toes point back. Sit down and bring your hands back to the feet, roll over your thumbs. Mm. 
Let your shoulders relax, let your neck relax right here, and let your body settle for about three more breaths. Mm -hmm. And then as you're ready, bring the hands underneath your shoulders. We're gonna just sit right up, stretch these ankles. Yep, sit up nice and high. Top of the head lifts, and then come forward and shake the feet out and stretch the ankles and the tops of the feet. Now we're gonna curl these toes under. For a toe squat, I want you to sit back on your heels again, curl the toes under. Stretch the toes, stretch the soles of your feet, and lift. And breathe. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good. And then as you come forward, we're going to just keep the toes curled under this time. Pick our hips up and push it back to downward facing dog. Let me get back on my mat here. So push it back. Find your best dog. Push it all the way back. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's come forward to plank and hold your plank for just a few moments. Keep your, keep your hips lifted, but keep them, see if you can keep them in a straight line. And then rock forward to your tippy toes and rock back onto the balls of the feet and push your heels back. And again, rock forward onto the tippy toes, rock back, push your heels back. Good, now from here, let's let the knees come down gently. And then we're gonna bend the elbows close to the body and we're leaning with the chin and the heart to come down to the mat. And then relax down, arms come by your side. Put your left ear on the mat. And just relax here for a moment. Breathe. Yeah. Let's do this, just because we can. First, we're gonna take, we're gonna inhale the head up and we're gonna take the forehead down to the mat. Pull the shoulders away from your ears, please. Pick the arms, the head, neck, shoulders, squeeze your hips, curl your pelvis, and lift. Mm-hmm. Just lift. Keep your feet down for the moment. One more deep inhale. Exhale, bring it down and turn your right cheek to the mat. And relax your shoulders, and relax your legs. Maybe wag your tail if you need to. And breathe. Good, once again, inhale, the forehead comes to the mat. And then we're going to squeeze those hips, engage the legs, reach back and up with the arms, and pull up head, neck, and shoulders. To reach back to the wall behind you, take the hands up higher, breathe. Good. On an exhale, bring it down and turn your left cheek to the mat. And relax your shoulders and your neck. Relax your legs and your hips. Breathe. This time, I want you to inhale your forehead to the mat first. Drop, keep your hands on the mat, but take your shoulder blades away from your ears. Curl your pelvis under and pull the belly in and then just pick up the right leg. Pick it up as high as you can. Keep your hips down on the mat if that's doable for you. Just pick it up and hold it and breathe. And then exhale and let that right leg come down. Hang on to it. Keep your hips tucked. Belly pulled in and pick that left leg up. And breathe, pull the shoulders down your back. 
Hold it up, take it up as high as it will go. As long as it's square and the hips are still on the mat. And then exhale that left leg down. Here we go. On your next inhale, curl the pelvis under, squeeze your hips, head, neck, shoulders, and legs. Come up. Throw in basana. Reach for that back wall. Reach and pull the arms up as best you can. And then bring the arms around and then take them into your superwoman. Legs are still high. Arms are straight ahead just by your ears. Take one more deep inhale. Exhale, bring the hands by your chest, curl the toes under, and let's push it back to downward facing dog. Push it all the way back. Oh, walk that out and breathe it out. Nice. Whew. Good. And then push both heels back. And this time, as you look forward, you're going to drop your right elbow. And then you're going to drop your left elbow. Put them right underneath your shoulders. And then maybe walk the feet a little closer towards your face for dolphin pose. Pushing into those forearms. Try to push your hips back. You can hold the head up or allow it to relax as long as it doesn't touch the mat. Pushing into the elbows. Good. And then come back up to your left hand and then your right hand and find your downward facing dog. Push it back. Push it back. I know this is a lot for your shoulders, but it's very strengthening. Breathe as long as you can manage it. And again, let's drop the right elbow and the left elbow. And then Walk your feet in a little bit closer. Keep your head lifted as you push back on your uh, forearms and elbows. Dolphin pose. Now, just because we can, take the right leg up. Take it up as high as it will go. And then bring that down. Stay lifted on your elbows here and take your left leg up. Lift it high, higher, mm -hmm. and then bring it down. Very nice. Well done. Come down to the knees. Woo! Point the toes and come all the way back to round over your thighs. You okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. See, those are the kinds of things that get thrown in. Wow. <laughs> you try, you know, you just try. Either you can do it or you can sort of do it, or, but it's something to look forward to. It's something to challenge yourself with. So you just hang down here and relax your shoulders nicely. And then from here, we're going to bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Actually, from here, I think we're going to come all the way up to our knees. Let's come all the way up and separate the knees about hips width just because we can. And then you can be in Tadasana on your knees, okay? Let's put the arms out in front of us. Uh-huh. And then just kind of scooch back. Just fall back a little bit. Keep your spine straight and then bring yourself forward again. Nice. And again, pull yourself back, giving your quads a nice stretch. But we've been working them all along, so hopefully they feel pretty good. Now I want you to drop the hands and drop your hips, and then swing the arms back, and up as high as they'll go and back, and then pick up the hips as you swing the arms up, Beside your ears, maybe take a little back bend. Exhale, bring the arms down and back. 
and you're bent over a little bit. And then inhale, lift the hips, lift the arms up by the ears. Maybe a little bit of a back bend. See if you can take your right hand down to the right heel. Just lean back on it. See how that feels. And then switch and take your left hand to your left heel. Uh-huh. Open your heart. Keep your tailbone tucked as best you can. Try not to get into that low back. And again, switch. Here. Half camel. And again, switch. Here. Lift. Good. And then let's see if we can take both hands down and press up into a full camel. And breathe. And as you're ready, release, you're doing great. Now you can sit back on your heels once again. Let's, let's send the knees out to the side and take a nice child's pose. So really get active in your child's pose. Push your low back and your hips down to your feet. Round your back to give it a nice stretch. Uh, Campbell pose is very tough on your low back. As much as we try to keep that low back nice and solid and straight, it will go into the low back a little bit, more often than not. So let's let it relax here. Just settle your forehead down. Relax your arms and your shoulders and let your body settle into this particular pose that has your back rounded. See if you get your hips down to your heels and breathe. Come back to your ujjayi breathing. Take a little bit of the kink out of that low back. And then as you're ready, very mindfully, pick the head up and start to walk the hands back towards your torso. And because we're already down here, we're gonna come up to the feet. Bring the knees, hands underneath your shoulders. And we're going to lean it forward and see if we can bakasana. Take it into crow. In the belly. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good job. Very nicely done. You can do one more of those if you want to. Take those hips up and get the hands right under your shoulders. As you lean forward, you find your balance. And then pull the belly in. Oh, push into the mat with the hands. And see if you can straighten out the arms. Woo! <laughs> Good job. Okay, from down here then, let's come down to seated. Let's take the legs out in front of us. Anything else that you would like to do Right now, go right ahead. Otherwise, we're gonna roll back into a shoulder stand, okay? So just make your way back and roll it up. Walk your shoulder blades, and your shoulder tips closer together, elbows closer together. And then settle your hands underneath your pelvis and keep walking down your back body as the legs go up straighter and higher. And then pick up your chin so you're not on your neck. This is not a neck stand. Breathe. Whew. Feel the shoulders as they come together on your back. It should feel really good. And 
as you're ready, if you want to, we'll go to plow. Take it nice and easy. There's no rush. So bring it all the way down. Maybe the feet will come to the mat. Maybe they won't. Let's see if you can take your hands back by the feet. If you bend the knees, you go to snail. And you get a super neck stretch. Then straighten out those knees once again. Pick up your chin and continue to pick up the chin to look back behind you as you very carefully roll down the bottom. You're going to let it roll. And as you pick up your chin and look back, it helps you leverage the speed. And then as your legs come all the way down, whew, yep. You're going to bring them all the way down to the mat eventually. Do as slowly or as quickly as you want to. Once you find that low back again, see if you can't lengthen through, squeeze the hips, and then allow the feet to come down. Let them separate comfortably. Let the feet splay out to the side. If you need a twist, at this point or anything else, please feel free to do it. Otherwise, we go right into Shavasana. Maybe walk your shoulders a little bit underneath of you. Lift your heart and let your shoulders be flat on your back. Take your time, whatever you're working on, whatever you're doing, we'll be here in Shavasana for a few minutes. You can always catch up. Soften your body, relax everything. Once you come to Shavasana, your breath relaxes. Relax through the hips and the glutes. Relax through the spine and the shoulders and out your arms and through your chest. Relax your neck and your face. If you put a little smile on your lips, it relaxes all those muscles all at once. Bring your breathing back to its normal rhythm. Relax your legs, your shins, your calves, hamstrings, relax. Begin to bring your attention back to the breathing. Very gently rock your head side to side. Take up the fingers and the toes. Put a new movement into the body. 
can't you breathe? Oh. You can take a deep stretch, arms overhead, stretch your body out long. It's like you're waking up in the morning. Oh gosh, and then bend those knees. And make your way over to your right side. Be there for just a moment. And we'll continue rolling. Use both hands to help yourself up. Let your head be the mass and then come up. Amen. Find an easy seated position, no matter which direction you face. Bring your hands together at your heart center. Touch the thumbs right into the sternum. Keep your eyes closed. If you can, take a deep inhale. On your exhale, bow your head. Now scan your body and see how you're feeling. And thank yourself for being here today. I thank you for being here today. Your whole body feels pretty darn good. Take a moment with me, please. Send out your love and your thoughts and prayers to the people on this planet that are suffering. Send them your highest vibration for peace and love and compassion. Thank you. The divine light within me honors the divine light within you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you very much. Lovely. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you're feeling grounded or. I am. I feel good. Thank you. Wonderful. I'm glad you were with me. Thanks, Connie. Thank you. See you soon. Time. Yep. Bye-bye.